Today we're going to talk about maintaining perspective. Let's talk about a unique reason not to have invested in each of the last 32 years. So with everything going on in the markets this year, I spent a ton of time putting together a list of reasons not to have been invested over each of the last 32 years, giving a unique reason for each respective year. Now, each of these events had a significant impact on the market, albeit some more than others, but nonetheless existed as a reason to get out or to not get in at all. Now, many of you watching this video will remember each of these events, but here's where it gets interesting. If you had let each year's you know, particular risk du jour keep you out of the market, just what would you have missed out on? If you look in the upper right-hand corner, you can see the prevailing index levels for the Dow, the NASDAQ, and the S&P 500 at the beginning of 1990. Now, if you were invested and you were endured all of these events and you blink, you wake up, it's the end of 2021, you can see in the bottom right-hand corner just how resilient the financial markets have proven to be over the long run. In each index, you would have multiplied your initial investment many times over. Now, is this time different? Unequivocally, yes. But the truth is, it's different every time. And during times like this, I also think it's prudent to leverage you know, perspective from others, too. So Howard Marks, billionaire investor, he gives some insights as to why markets behave the way they do. He says, in the real world, things tend to fluctuate from pretty good to not so hot. But in the world of investing, perception often springs from flawless all the way to hopeless. And the way that things are seriously overdone in the markets to either side is one of the key characteristics just of investor behavior. Morgan Housel is a financial writer. He also provides some context as to exactly why this is. He says that, you know, as humans, we're extrapolating machines in a world where nothing too good or too bad lasts indefinitely and progress happens too slowly to even notice, while setbacks happen too fast to ignore. And the best way to deal with this uncertainty without you know, hiding out in a bunker is to save like a pessimist and invest like an optimist. Optimism and pessimism, they always overshoot because the only way really to know the boundaries of either is to go a little bit past them. And one final quote from Daniel Kahneman, he's the author of Thinking Fast and Slow, it's a great book. Um, he says the key to investing is having a well-calibrated sense of your future regret, meaning that we should always expect that unexpected things will happen. So I hope at the end of the day, this graphic gives you some perspective, really overall on the, the resiliency of financial markets. As always, stay the course and stay on point. Take care.